On the 14th of February 2019, a suicide terror attack was conducted by a Pakistan-based terrorist organization, the Jaish e Mohammed, leading to the martyrdom of 40 brave jawans of the CRPF. The Jaish e Mohammed has been active in Pakistan for the last two decades, and it is led by Masood Azhar, with its headquarters in Bahawalpur. This organization, which is proscribed by the United Nations, has been responsible for a series of terrorist attacks. including on the indian parliament in december 2001 and the pathan court air base in january 2016 information regarding the location of training camps in pakistan and in pakistan occupied jammu and kashmir has been provided to pakistan from time to time pakistan however denies their existence the existence of such massive training facilities capable of training hundreds of jihadis could not have functioned without the knowledge of the pakistan authorities india has been repeatedly urging pakistan to take action against the jaish e mohammed to prevent jihadis from being trained and armed inside pakistan pakistan has taken no concrete action to dismantle the infrastructure of terrorism on its soil credible intelligence was received that the jaish e mohammed was attempting other suicide terror attacks in various parts of the country and the fidayeen jihadis were being trained for this purpose in the face of imminent danger a preemptive strike became absolutely necessary in an intelligence led operation in the early hours of today india struck the biggest training camp of the jaish e mohammed in balakot In this operation, a very large number of Jaish e Mohammed terrorists, trainers, senior commanders, and groups of jihadis who were being trained for fidaa in action were eliminated. This facility at Balakot was headed by Maulana Yusuf Azhar, alias Ustad Ghori, the brother-in-law of Masood Azhar, chief of the JEM. The government of India is firmly. and resolutely committed to taking all necessary measures to fight the menace of terrorism hence this non military preemptive action was specifically targeted at the jaish e mohammed camp the selection of the target was also conditioned by our desire to avoid civilian casualties the facility is located in thick forest on a hilltop far away from any civilian presence as the strike has taken place only a short while ago we are awaiting further details the government of pakistan had made a solemn commitment in january 2004 not to allow its soil or territory under its control to be used for terrorism against india we expect that pakistan lives up to its public commitment and takes follow up action to dismantle all jem and other camps and hold the terrorists accountable for their actions